Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I am going to show you how to screenshot a part or section of a website. This is part two of my YouTube video uh, showing how to screenshot uh, the website. My first part was uh, screenshot the whole website. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to support me and uh, please like the video if you like it at the end of the video so the first step to do this is click on uh, recorder then you go to the website that you want to screenshot click on record Then go to the section that you want to uh, screenshot. So for this instance, I want to screenshot the price and the graph, right? So make sure the red box is uh, is showing is capturing what you need to uh, capture. So it's a bit tricky. Okay, I want to capture this. So what I do is, once I get it in the box, I right click, then I go to take screenshot of this UI element and left click. Then if I go back to the recorder, right, I can see the steps, then I click on done. So I have uh, done it previously, so I'm going to just delete. And uh, now if you can open one by one, you see it's actually uh, launching new Chrome. All right. Then uh, you make sure your launch mode is a launch new instance. Then the URL you put in the URL that you want to capture. Then uh, your window state, just make sure it's maximized. All right. Then over here, all right, you can see it's uh it's saying capture specific element. All right. Then a uh, UI element just uh just leave it as it is. Save mode file, image file, right? You just uh, put a link, right, to to where you want to store the file, and then give it a file name, right? Then uh, click on run. So you will launch a new website, right? Then you will capture the section. All right, you can see that it's uh, ready, it's done. So if I go to the folder here, all right, yeah, I double click it, I can see uh, this is the Tesla graph, right? So what if I want to have uh, maybe Amazon graph? So I go back to the Power Automate desktop, right? Then what I do, I just change link to Amazon. Click on save. Then I click on run. All right, it will open up a new website with Amazon. Then it will capture the graph. So you have to go to the folder. And double click on the picture so I get this uh, Amazon graph so I hope this video has helped you if you like this video please remember to subscribe and like you like this video thank you I will see you in the next video bye bye